Alright. Uh, the timer uh, the time starts um, when the game says go, so I will I will say go and then the time starts. Right, so this is cruising your Zay. Uh, we're gonna use the Jeep. Er uh, there's definitely a reason why we're gonna use the Jeep, so go. Oh. Uh almost Go. Now we're gonna use the Jeep for for reasons. Uh, you're gonna see it in some other stages, not in this one. You can do it in this stage, but it's not easy. Um, so yeah, this is we just use the fully upgraded Jeep. That's why it's called New Game Plus. You can either s uh, steer with the control, like with the stick. It steers faster, or you can do it with the D-pad and. Well, that, the D-pad just sucks, in my opinion. You can also just choose how, uh, like how high your steering is in the options. So, and the cars are random, but sometimes you know when the car comes. It's like if you see the car on the right side of the road, sometimes you can like kind of know that there's a car on the other side of the road coming up like that. Sometimes you cannot see them if you're going downhill. So. There are some stages where that's gonna happen when I probably drive into a car. And car crashes in this is just weird. It will probably happen because there are like the cars driving, there are cars that can go from side to side like they're drunk. And they are pretty annoying. Like that car, that red car was going, going from side to side. Uh, or like that one, so yeah. That's. That can happen. Cars <laughs> like that are really annoying. So here I'm gonna go off road because we don't lose any, we don't lose speed. Also for this game we use the in-game time for the leaderboards because it's more accurate. So yeah. So this is San Francisco. This one pretty annoying. It has great music. Man. in some spots. There's one stage that, that where it can be really annoying. And this car is just keeping it from. Yeah, this stage is pretty hard. Yeah, I didn't see that in time. But yeah, that's just, it's just really annoying. The cars in, the, in this uh, stage. Ah. Wow. No. Uh, this is just one of the hardest stages in the game. There are in total 14 stages. Uh, we're just the game is called Cruising USA because we're just cruising through the USA. Um, so yeah, that's why it's called Cruising USA. Nothing much to tell about this game. It's a fun game. Yeah, the only things you have is you have. Uh, Braking, you have steering, and you have driving. Everything you have for this game. And you can choose uh, three different views. So, yeah. It was not a good stage, though. The reason why we use in game uh, time because of that, uh, you get every time you get a new half time, you have to go to the liver. So, this is the stage where we're just gonna go off road. And the reason, this is the reason why we uh, choose for the fully upgraded Jeep. Because the Jeep normally goes 160 miles per hour, but if you go off-road, for some reason, you can go 170 miles per hour. I don't understand why. And I didn't, didn't know what the car was doing there, but... And that's totally um, pretty accurate, that's like a cliff you have to drive over in 
USA. I'm pretty sure this game is pretty accurate. So yeah, this is one of the stages where we just go off road and we don't have any like we don't have any problems with cars driving into so <laughs> This is mostly this stage now. You just just drive off road. This is the only car where you can do this. And it's only the fully upgraded car. So if you choose like the non upgraded car, it doesn't work. It's only the fully upgraded Jeep where it works. Sometimes you hear a rant, sometimes you hear a woman scream or say we're gonna crash or something. I don't know. I don't even know if the woman is in the car with me or now. <laughs> that was a pretty good stage. Happy with that. Okay, Redwood Forest. Uh, the beginning of this, like the first half of this uh, stage, is go through a forest, and uh, it can be really annoying. It can be really annoying. Like you need to you need to steer on time, or else you're just gonna crash. You can drive uh, if you drive into those trees. The trees just fall. They just fall over and look like a paper. It's like a piece of paper that just falls over. <laughs> Basically, it. you can go on this side, but that's not easy to do in this stage to gain that extra little bit of speed. Now we just get an S turn where. Okay, there the tree fell over. It. Oh, there we go. Okay, here we're gonna go off road again. And not drive into those trees. So, steering is not easy in this game. Especially with the stick. It doesn't matter how high or how low you have the steering in the options. It's uh, you need to be really gentle with, uh, like, with the stick, or else you just go really, just steer like really fast. Uh, that was uh, Red Bull Forest. Run across the country to murder. <laughs> oh Jesus! Jesus in the back. Probably is. So, Beverly Hills, uh, we can go, technically we can just go on the sidewalk, but I'm not going to do that because it's really hard. You have some space on the sides, but if you drive into the tree, you you just, uh, you just bounce a little bit back and you lose time. And um, it's not easy to steer on the sidewalk here to gain that extra speed. It's If you go for a rocket runs, yeah, you totally do it, but I'm not good at the steering right now. I played this game for a. I've played this game along, like, like that. G trees just bouncing. That's why I don't go off uh, on the sidewalk. I'm not really. Uh, I'm not really good with the gentle steering with the stick, and using the D-pad doesn't help either, at all. It's, the D-pad you should never use the D-pad. That's just bad. <laughs> using the D-pad is just bad. Oh, here we can sometimes there's a car in the corner and there yeah, I couldn't do anything because there was a car on the other side too and uh, situation okay there was a drunk driver can here almost drove into me die yeah th those are corners where you don't see what's there and I don't know why those people are standing there there's also an arcade version for this the arcade version, uh, the woman you just saw in the arcade version, you see her with her bikini. Like, well, with a t instead of a shirt, she has the bikini on. So, yeah, LA freeway again. But I'm not gonna do it right away in this in this part right now. If you do it, uh, there's you randomly bounce into some random invisible wall that shouldn't be there. Like right now, I can do it. But if I did it earlier, um. You somehow bonk into nothing. I don't understand why. 
though, yeah. This is, uh, what we do in this stage. We just go, just keep driving this. Don't care. Okay, that can happen. Uh, I just get teleported to the middle. That can sometimes randomly happen, and it's pretty annoying. And it would be even more annoying if the game teleports me to the middle and there's a car coming towards me, where I just crash into right away. So, yeah, I don't understand Again, why I get teleported. Get teleported. It's pretty annoying when that happens. Okay. That's a thing, too. You sometimes. Pretty annoying. I drove into the wall there. Not bad. This is a really tight corner. That's... There you go. I'm gonna have to fix mine. Yeah. Okay, um... Death Valley. The one is um, if you play this casually and you start and like if you don't have a full upgrade, we play on easy though. That's uh, that's why we um, that's why we pass all the cars instantly. Cause we uh, cause we play on easy, and they're pretty damn slow. So this Death Valley can be really annoying if you play this casually and try to upgrade the cars. Uh, there's not a lot of space, and if you drive off roads. You can you drive in those bushes and those bushes just uh, slow you down. And yeah, this is uh, why they call this Death Valley because not really because <laughs> it's a really hard track, casual. It, yeah, I knew there was a car coming around the corner. Some there was a car on the right side, so sometimes you know there's a car coming on the other side. And sometimes you can do you cannot do anything if the car like cross cross each other you cannot do anything like this I don't know how I didn't hit a bush there but it's, uh, uh, situation like that are really annoying you cannot do anything you can you can just uh, you can you can break then you're slow so you have to go around it and make sure you don't bonk them so there's a train here if you're not fast enough you can bonk into the train and uh, yeah, you have to wait. You have to wait till the train uh, stops, or you can drive. Pretty. Really, uh, if it's really annoying, if you bonk into a car before that part. So uh, that's uh, we're already halfway through the game. So, so Arizona, we'll go here off road too. Not a lot of space to go off road. It's like small, but you can see where, where the board, where, where like the line is. This is one of the easier stages, though. Hey, a nice corner. So I'm gonna go on the road and then take the corner. Cause if I, if I take the corner, if I just go, keep going in the off roads, I get some air time and I lose control. So that's why I'm going on the road and then go off-road right away in those corners. Uh, just like that, what happened there, that can happen if you don't go on the road and then go back on it. So, this was uh, Zona. It was a pretty good stage. So, after the next stage, you're gonna see that um, the star just goes where the 25 is. So, we just. That part is just gone, I don't know. I don't know why they. Didn't put the st uh, stage there. This is the Grand Canyon. You can go off road here too, but it can be really difficult to be off road here because 
it's really easy to go in the air. It doesn't matter if you go a little bit in the air, you, as soon as you just got in the ground, you just lose control for a second. It doesn't matter if, how much you get in the air. And sometimes you see there's a little bit of lag going on. Oh, yeah. What? <laughs> I don't know what the car was doing there, but... Sometimes the car does, does random stuff when it gets into, into the air. Okay, I lost control there again. That's that's the thing in this stage. You can go faster, but you're gonna lose control easily. So it's not easy. So we're gonna see Ra Mount Rushmore soon. Pay attention, you can see Mount Rushmore. There it is. There's Ra Mount Rushmore. Hey, oh. So now you're gonna see the Stardust Ghost right up there. So we just basically—I don't really understand why didn't uh, why they didn't put stages there too. But so this is stage where we're just gonna go road again. So in this stage, sometimes you can uh, get teleported to the middle of the road too. So we're just gonna go around those uh, gates. Uh, we don't care about those gates. And again, I got in the air and my car turned. That's. Uh. There's also a category called New Game. And there we just choose, we just choose the first car, the non upgraded car. And that category can be difficult because the cars are the same speed as you. Oh god. Uh, that's okay. Nice. Nice. <laughs> nice. The car is in front of me. I Sometimes the car can be in front of you. If you crash, the car can just lay in front of you and I there's no there's no uh, reverse in this game. <laughs> so we just um just have to hope that that the car doesn't stay in front of you cuz there's been times that the car is just in front of you and just keep driving into it. And yeah, that's um that happens, it's just bad luck. Okay, we are in Chicago. This is definitely the worst stage in the game. Begin the first, uh, like, this part is easy. You cannot go off road though, but this is easy. This is just arguably the worst stage in this uh, game. And you're gonna see why soon. This, this, this stage is stupid. This, I don't know who designed this stage, but <laughs> this is just a terrible stage. Like this part is this is not it's not bad. Later on, it's gonna be bad. Okay, this part is uh, bad. This is bad. You cannot see what's in around the corner, and sometimes, and the cars can be sometimes on the side or just in right in the corner like that, and you cannot do anything about it. And the worst part is is coming up. Why? Oh, what? <laughs> How did I manage? Yeah. So, so we are. The worst part is coming up. Great, great game, please. Yeah. Okay. The my car is just a flip. Okay. This is the worst part of the game. Like even the cars in the game sometimes doesn't like like this truck. What is he doing? Like <laughs> even the game doesn't know what to do here. Like this police car. This is just the worst part. You can bonk into these, these poles. Some cars are randomly just like that. What are you doing, police car? 
This is the worst stage. Why? That went pretty well though, but that's the worst stage. Just that is just terrible. I don't know who designed that. It's just terrible. So we have three stages left. So now I get piano. Gonna go abroad. So this is like the same as like Iowa with this part, except there are no bridges in this one. It's basically the same with the uh, gay, but there are no bridges in this stage, so that's the only difference. They just took Iowa and di and just removed the bridges. That's everything they did. Basically the same stage. Or uh, I'm pretty sure they were lazy. Potholes seem pretty accurate. <laughs> Graphics. Um, this is a N64 game. That's why these graphics are like this. It's a great game, <laughs> but if you want to upgrade every car, uh, that can be really annoying. Because, yeah. Error. <laughs> Do you want? You have to put the difficult up every time you uh, out, uh, unlock a faster car. That's, you can also choose between the school bus and a police car. I just drove into that guy right there. He's still. I just drive into the crowd right there. So, second to last. That is coming up. I wish, I wish the other. Uh, there are two other cruising games for the N64, but they unfortunately they are not Virtual Console. Or else I would have run then. So we're just gonna go for it again. Basically, what we do. You can play. Just go off road as much as possible. Yeah, this is a stupid part. If you just go straight with a fast car, uh, you just you're guaranteed. It's probably guaranteed that you drive into the side because of the no control for seconds thing. I don't know why they put that in the game. Like I lost control again. this like like see there was no control for a second that's really annoying I can that can really um, mess you up so in this part we don't see what's down there so we just have to hope there's no car there that we drive into so. and there's there's one more of the of that part coming up it can be really annoying when you cannot see what's down there here. Like now I saw the car. I saw the truck. There's no racing game that works like this. There's also a cruising cruising game for the Wii, uh, but I've I've seen re reviews about that game and they say that's a really terrible game. My point is for graphics, but so this is the last stage, Washington, Washington DC. You can go off-road here too, but I'm not going to do it. Because you can drive into those poles or into those trees. And the world record holder of this uh, game... He's really good. He can, do, he can just go off-road and don't bonk into anything. He's really good. So. I will let you know when time is coming up. It's going to... It's gonna be like in a minute or something. Okay, this is uh, one of the dumb corners. Like, that's a really dumb corner, especially if you do it in New Game Plus. You go so fast, and you don't know uh, if there, if there's a car on the other side. Now I knew there was a car, but it's a uh, pretty far. That those two spots are annoying in this game. What the hell, please? So, now you see a bunch of money. That's uh, an interesting time, but time is coming up. And time!
Uh, not that bad. Yeah, I was, uh, I was cruising USA, New Game Plus. Here we go, and now you're gonna see uh, the White House with cows on it. For some reason. <laughs> I just don't know why. Yeah. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, that's basically it. That was cruising USA. Ah, no problem. Hope everyone enjoyed it.